It's 5 p.m. and is Wednesday. And finally, we have decided to open again our pizza van in Rochester. After we have left London, it is time to try again if it works for us, to work again from home. I have made some preps for the day and I have uploaded two reels and a post on social media to inform the local community that we are open. Also, I have paid for a marketing email campaign. Let's see if we will have any customers tonight or we will fail. Finally, I have received an order, a pizza Olympia and a pizza Don Vito. Let's start making them. In the meantime, allow me to tell you a story. Unfortunately, it's not a nice one. I'm a bit nervous because, in the last few weeks, we had only bad luck. Two weeks ago, our car was stolen from our driveway. Two fucking idiots came in the middle of the night, and in two minutes they managed to steal our Volvo XC90. We have worked hard for two years to buy a decent car, and has disappeared in two fucking minutes. Have a look at this footage of how easy it is these days to steal a car. Look at that cunt, how he scanned the walls to pick up the signal from the car fob. In seconds they managed to open the doors, and if we look more closely, we can see that they are very calm and without stress. It is clear that it is not the first time for them. That morning was a nightmare when I woke up, and I saw that the car was missing. Valeri, my wife, was in shock when I informed her. We called the police and guess what? They give us a crime reference number and that's it. Useless. Only after five days they have managed to assign an officer to our case. Five days? Seriously? In five days our car can be in the other part of the world, dismantled, looking like a 1,000-piece Lego. For two days after the incident, me and my wife, some neighbours and our son, we looked for the car in all possible parking lots in the area. We walked the streets for hours, hoping to find the car abandoned somewhere. But unfortunately, we had no luck. Even a private detective offered to help us for free. I have prepared a USB stick with the footage from our CCTV cameras showing the thieves how they stole our car, hoping that the car will be found, and I gave it to the police. Obviously, they never came back to us with an answer, even if the camera footage clearly showed the face of one of those bloody bastards. If can I give you all some advice, secure your cars guys, take all possible security measures, even if nowadays it is very difficult. And now let's continue with the pizza. The first pizza is the Olympia. By the way, I have given this name to this pizza in the memory of my mom. She passed away in 2023 in February. This pizza comes with San Marzano tomato sauce, smoked ham, some mushrooms, roquito peppers and black olives. I suggest to check out our pizza menu on our website. You can find the link down below in the description. If you live in Rochester, you can find us. We are open every Monday, Wednesday and Friday and we do deliveries in the area. We cater a wide range of events. Get in touch with us if you're interested. Back to the Volvo story. Almost a month has passed since the theft of our car and we still have no news. Now the negotiation with the insurance company follows and we are sure that they will not offer us a good price but I'm sure it will be resolved because my wife is a very good negotiator. This is not my strength, I trust her. And here is the Pizza Olympia. Another useful piece of information. If you are planning to bake some pizzas at home or in your back garden, make sure that your oven has a minimum of 300 degrees Celsius. The last pizza is ready. It's time to deliver it to the customer. If my story is interesting to you, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and push the notification bell to be the first to receive the next video. If the same thing happened to you, leave a comment on how you handled that situation or give me advice on how to manage my situation.